U.S. government sanctions Kaspersky executives. The U.S. Department of the Treasury announced today that it has imposed sanctions on 12 executives of the Russia-based cybersecurity giant, Kaspersky Lab. The sanctions, aimed at protecting Internet users from malicious cyber threats, are a significant move in the ongoing efforts to safeguard the cyber domain. The Office of Foreign Assets Control, or OFAC, specified that the targeted individuals include key figures within Kaspersky's leadership. Among those sanctioned are Andrei Anatolyevich Efremov, the chief business development officer, and Igor Genadievich Chekunov, the chief legal officer. Other notable names include Marina Mykolovna Alexeev, the global human resources chief, Denis Vladimirovich Sankin, head of communications, and Anton Mikhailovich Ivanov, the chief technology officer. Under Secretary of the Treasury for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence, Brian E. Nelson emphasized the importance of this action, stating, Today's action against the leadership of Kaspersky Lab underscores our commitment to ensure the integrity of our cyber domain and to protect our citizens against malicious cyber threats. Interestingly, the sanctions do not extend to Kaspersky Lab itself, its parent or subsidiary companies, nor to the company's founder and CEO, Eugene Kaspersky. Both the Treasury Department and Kaspersky have yet to comment on why Eugene Kaspersky was excluded from these sanctions. These sanctions follow a recent announcement of a first-of-its-kind ban on the sale of Kaspersky software in the United States set to take effect on July 20th. While current users can receive updates until September 29, after that, their antivirus software will become outdated and potentially ineffective against new threats. Kaspersky spokesperson Sawyer Van Horn indicated that the company plans to challenge the ban, continuing a long-standing contention with U.S. authorities who fear that Kaspersky could be leveraged by the Russian government for espionage. This is not the first time the U.S. has taken action against Kaspersky. In 2017, the Trump administration banned its software from government agencies after reports that Russian hackers use Kaspersky software to steal U.S. classified documents. We will continue to monitor this developing story and bring you updates as they unfold. For World Update News TV, I'm Mark Gordon. Stay tuned for more news after the break.